Hey guys, this is Cody Carver. Go back to the channel. Today, I'm going to give you the Tennessee Titans NFL team evaluation after the Tennessee Titans trade for Julio Jones and really a robbery of a trade. I would have had to trade at least the first you would think for Julio. Julio is a stud. Um, and he's either going to make AJ Brown and Derrick Henry so much better. Either probably AJ, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but yeah, I do think um. This was a huge trade for the Titans that really made this team get so much better. Um, so, yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, before this video actually does start, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We'll do 100 subscribers. Let's get there. 24 away. Really appreciate if you do that for me. Um, but, yeah, quarterback Ryan Tannehill. I've given him so much slack. Um, I've really been a hater, to be honest with you. Didn't really even Ryan Tannehill. But he proved me wrong this year. I'm like, yeah, he had one good year. Yeah, whatever. He's got, got good. He just had a fluke here. But he did. He proved me wrong. He had seven rushing touchdowns on four hundred rushing yards. And he had 4,000 uh, passing yards. Ryan Tannehill's a stud. Uh, he's what you want to have a quarterback, especially in this day and age with that uh, speed and rushing threat. Um, then you get into running backs. Derrick Henry and Guaranteed Evans. Derrick Henry's a beast. 2,000 yards guaranteed. Right now, it's 2,000 yards, probably 2,300, 2,300, 2,400, so really good year for him. Um, then Darrington Evans is not going to do much at all, so he'll do way six out of three, why not? Um, and then Julio and AJ Brown are both practically receiver ones. One's labeled receiver one, or one's labeled receiver two, whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, they're both, I had them both at a 9.6, they're both insane. They're both some of the best at what they do, they're both top 10. AJ Brown's one of the starting five. That'll be uh, great. That'll be a top five receiver. That'll be leading the league along with DK Metcalf, Calvin Ridley, Terry McLaurin, and Justin Jefferson. Um, yeah, but now getting on to receiver three, who actually makes this a better receiver core than you think is Josh Reynolds. He plays really well as a third receiver, and he's going to play quite well as the Tennessee Titans. So we'll be three out of five there. Then Anthony Ferkshire. Uh, Four out of five, he's just, yeah, he's just, eh, at the best. He's not good. He's not terrible. He's just meh, you know? And then O-line is decent at 11.2 out of 15. Um, O-line's quite average. Um, I mean, with Derrick Henry, though, you don't need a good O-line to be good. So, yeah, that doesn't really matter. Um. I guess it matters for pass protection, though, but that's really it. But now with Julio and A.J. Brown, A.J. Brown is going to be single team. He's going to be wide open every play. Um, but, yeah, a 62.6 offense, top three offense for sure. If not top five, no doubt. Um, yeah, let's get on to the defense. Jeffrey Simmons ain't amazing, uh, but he ain't bad by any means. Uh, you know, he does he does what he has to do and is just that. But then you get under right at Didi Kawatri is pretty good. They signed him this year. I like Didi Kawatri a lot. Um he's a solid end. He's not uh amazing, amazing, but he's not bad. He's quite he's quite uh slightly above average to where he is, but he's still a good edge rusher. I like to watch him. Didi Kawatri is a good player. But Tier Tart is garbage. Not a great knee tackle, but it's not a big uh, deal there. Um, he really plays nose tackle, but whatever. Doesn't really matter there. Middle linebackers, Rashawn Evans is, and J.L. Brown are just average. Well, J.L. Brown's like below average. Rashawn Evans is just average. Not the best middle linebackers. They do make it up uh, on the outside with weak side linebacker Harold Landry, who's a 4.2 out of 5. He's quite, he's quite good. I like Harold Landry as a player. He's one of my uh, favorite ones to watch. Uh, and we say, say linebacker. There's not a ton of guys that can do what he do does, but um, he also has those down games. But when he plays, he play when he plays well. Uh, you know it, and he's a really good player when he does that. Then you got some linebacker with Bud Debris, stunned for the Steelers. He's gonna do bet. He's gonna do just as good this year. If not better, but Dupree's a stud, 4.795. Now you get out to the secondary. 
who has some star power, but also isn't the best. I mean, Janoris Jenkins is good at 8.8 out of 10. You know, he's a, he's a fine starter. Probably, there's not 32 other guys that are better than him, so he's definitely starting level in the league. He's not the best starting level corner, though. Um, would want something a little bit better for a championship team. Then at CBT, you got Caleb Farley, who we don't know yet. He's going to be – he's – Really struggle with injuries. Don't know how that's going to uh, hurt him in the long run. Um, hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully he has a good career. We don't know yet, but he's really good. He was whatever three-quarter in a really good quarter class. I thought they could. They each had a potential to go top 15. Um, J.C. Horn was the number one. Just barely over Patrick Tam and Patrick Tam just barely over Caleb Farley. They're both deserve. They're all deserving of a number one quarter spot, but they just weren't. They just couldn't have that option in the situation here. Um, yeah, let's get the safeties. Kevin Byron, one of like that seven or eight elite group of safeties. He's in there. He's a stud. And Amani Hooker is just not great. He's fine at best, just average, you know. Um, not the best player, but does make this defense a 61 out of 70. This is a really good looking team from offensive defense. Let's check out the special team. Starting off with Tucker McCann, he's just fine, he's not gonna, he's average. Um, but they got Brent Kearns, who when they have to punt, which will, won't happen too often, um, they'll be good there. Um, then the kick returner. And Pub Attorney, you got Cameron Batson, who's not great, but he does the job. And then Morgan Cox, the best long snapper in the league. Long snappers are great, and he got point two over any other long snapper in the league. Um, making uh, the Titans possibly win more games because of Morgan Cox. So, Titans fans, be happy. All right? <laughs> Every other fan base, um, don't be mad in the comments, please. I'm begging you. Hit that like button. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So a special teams game with 12, which is actually quite good. You know, media total game 135.6 and a 155. That's a really good grade. Grade of an A. Gonna, that's one of the few teams over the Chiefs, actually. I got to move with the Chiefs right now. They're a really good team. I like the Titans. Um, what can I say? Uh, you know, I feel like the Titans are going to be really good this year, or they're going to be just the average Titans, 9-7, 10-7, 9-8. You know, the cake are not 7 anymore, so that sucks, but, you know. Um, um, they can make a run for the Super Bowl. Um, won't be a Cinderella story this time, but, yeah, that's going to do for this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Comment down below what team you want me to do next. Um, and yeah, road to 100 subscribers. Let's get there. And thanks for watching the video to the end. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.